Hey guys, this is Joe, and in this origami tutorial, I will teach you how to make the world record holding paper airplane. So the first step, take your paper, and you fold it in half lengthwise. And like I've said in my other tutorials on making planes, the creases must be sharp, and your folds must be perfect or near perfect. So make sure you line up the corners very well. Make sure that you can't even tell there's two layers here. Even from the start. And then make a good strong crease using your fingernail. Alright, and unfold. Alright, so step two. We will fold the corner down like this on either side. Make sure this is sharp point at the top so you know you have a good accurate fold. And you want to take your time doing this because especially with this plane when you're folding the slightest millimeter off will make your plane go a little bit less straight than you would want it to go the more perfect your folds are the straighter it will fly so take your time make sure all your folds are perfect Alright, good. If your paper looks like this, you're doing it right. So turn it to the side where you can see the creases easiest. And the third step would be to take this edge and fold it towards the crease that you j the creases you made that just run from the corner to the lower edge. So you bring it to the crease, but then you have to bring it back a little bit. Oh zoom in a little so you can see but I'm not having the paper all the way to the line I'm drawing it back maybe a millimeter and you want to start this at the corner right here so press this down so you have like you know a millimeter ish and then make sure you have a millimeter ish up here and then press it down all right good strong crease and do the same on the other side And just to clarify, your fold on this side should be the same distance away from that crease as on this side. Your folds should always be the same distance from that line. Okay, so now your paper should look like this. And you want to bring those folds you just did in and make sure your creases are very tight right here. Just redo them if you unfolded them like I did. So, right here, okay. It doesn't matter which side is over top. It really doesn't. So then you take this point right here where the lines cross right here and you fold it over. And at this point, this is really important 
this, the center crease right here has to line up. So make sure that it's all one solid line and just press the center. Before you do the finish the crease, you have to make sure there's no bubbling. This is also an extremely important part. You have to make sure that when you're folding it's not bubbling up like this. See? You should press it down so it's completely flat and hold it down. And keep holding it. Keep holding it flat as you make the crease. Right there. Now you can make it good and solid. That way this paper will be flat and you hardly know that it was folded. And if it does bubble a little bit, which it will, but you know, you want to make the bubble as small as possible. If it does bubble, then just redo the crease right here and the bubble should go away. Alright, do the same thing on the other side, holding this down to make sure there's no bubbling. And make a good solid crease. And then you just make sure there are no bubbles. Okay, so now it should look like this. Now, I like this part of the plane, this next step, because you see that these creases just magically line up right here. And if they don't line up, that's a problem. But, you know, if you don't succeed, try, try again. So, fold along that crease, those two creases that become one, and it should come together like this. Now here's very important to make sure the creases are strong and flat. Okay, so now it should look like this. Next step, if you fold it back on itself along the center crease, and it should look like this alright and if at any point when you're doing any of these steps it starts to bubble up or looks like the creases might not be flat just redo everything just make sure you press it down so it's really nice and flat that'll make it streamlined and it'll fly super straight okay so now you want to fold down and again don't let this happen keep it back here make sure there's no bubbling and you want to fold down to the nose but not all the way to the nose so like I'm gonna do mine here you know just like maybe two millimeters from the nose or something like that and then at the other end right here the paper should just barely touch the corner just barely touch it like that all right, so then when you're right here, again making sure that there's no uh, bubbling right here. Press it down, make a good solid fold. You don't need to crease super hard right here though. Just make sure that it's folded. All right. Now same thing on the other side, okay? So make sure you're holding this here as you fold down. Make sure that right here, these two creases line up. Okay. And then again, bring it down to that point. The wings should line up perfectly. If they don't line up perfectly, it won't fly straight, but it won't be super messed up unless they're really not straight or if they don't line up at all but right here you essentially have your plane so make sure that all the bubbles are out press it down good make sure your creases are sharp make sure the wings are relatively the same size and then lift the wings very gently okay so now your plane should look like this. Just 
bend them up so that they're a little bit above parallel to the ground. Okay, so now you have your plane. So this plane follows all the same rules of trimming as any other airplane, though this isn't the best stunt plane, so I wouldn't recommend doing anything crazy. But you do any up and down adjustments right here at the back near the middle, and if you wanted to do any stunts, you would adjust one up, one down, or something like that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, to make sure it flies straight, you look at it head on or from the tail, whichever one you prefer. Make sure that the plane, the, both, the, both the wings are on a single plane. They're very flat. One shouldn't be higher than the other or you shouldn't have them both way up or way down. If you want it to fly straight, they should be perfectly flat and perfectly parallel to the ground. Okay, so with that, you should have a plane that flies very well, very straight, and as long as you keep practicing throwing and making sure that you have all your creases perfect and no bubbling, you should have a good plane and happy flying.